Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. I know we probably haven't told you guys over the past week what we were doing this week and that's because we definitely did not know what we were doing. If we didn't make it clear over the past week we were actually on a vacation and we went up north. We went with my family and a ton of my family members like cousins, aunts, uncles, my grandparents and we had a very unplugged anti-internet vacation. We went to a cabin and we were on a lake and it was so freaking nice and so refreshing. 2023 has been so wild for both of us. I made like an Instagram post talking about it. 2023 has been just like endless life events. So much stuff going on with me getting my car smashed and having to get a new car, with getting a house, with getting a new puppy, just so much stuff. That's not even all of it not even close. And we also have a lot more happening this year. It was so nice to get a big vacation. Maybe on What's Old Saturday this week, Ryan and I will like talk about it more together. But holy, it was so nice to get a minute to like relax. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. <laughs> so today, long story short, we are actually having a thrift with us, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail and all that stuff. We're doing a thrift with us and we are going to the bins. We obviously have taken a week off from the bins since we were on vacation. So we are going so we can stock up. Ryan's school year will be starting in about, I think two or three weeks. So he's really trying to stock up. His plan is actually to get a bunch of stuff and like store it in our crawl space so that when he's low on inventory, he can just take it out and list it. But I did want to say, I know we've done a lot of Thrift With Us recently, but do not fret. I have some exciting news for next week. Next week, we are going to be doing, drum roll please, <laughs> we're gonna be doing the fall 2023 trend report. So all this week, I'm going to be doing research and Ryan is gonna be doing research on the trends that are coming for 2023 fall. And we are gonna be kicking off fall mode on the channel. So I know that we've been doing a ton of thrift with us and a ton of hauls. We are obviously still gonna be doing both of those things, but there'll be a bit more spaced out than they have been recently. So we're gonna be doing the fall trend report. We're going to be doing fall 2023 R&D, which is where we go to the Mall of America and we look for the trends in action. We look at Nordstrom, we look at Free People, Urban Outfitters, Anthropology, Aritzia, all the different stores, and we find the trends that we talk about. We are gonna be doing some bolos, not as much as we normally do, just because they seemed to kind of like burn out a little. So we're gonna be doing a couple bolos, just because of course we do love to talk about coat brands and denim brands and stuff like that. So we will be having bolos coming up very soon. We have a lot of good, exciting stuff in store. My favorite time for the channel is fall for sure we have I just I get so excited to talk about fall categories like that's just my favorite I can't wait to source it I can't wait to sell it I can't wait to talk about it I'm very excited long story short thrift haul this Thursday from this trip that we're going on right now as usual I just got done at the gym so I'm going first on my own to the bins Brian will be meeting me here in a couple minutes but I just wanted to let you guys know that there is exciting stuff on the way so it's not like we're just defaulting to doing thrift with us and hauls every single week though we do still like to do hauls basically every Thursday so for the most part that is probably what's gonna be going on but the Tuesday videos are gonna be very informative fall centric I hope you guys are excited to go on a thrifting trip with us. I cannot wait to pick up some fall items. I'm actually behind on even taking pictures of and listing my stuff that you guys saw last week. So I have kind of a backlog and I need to get motating. So my goals are fall categories, of course, all of them. I'm just whatever. I'm going to grab it all. I'm going to get the coats. I'm going to get the sweaters. I'm going to get the flannels. I'm going to get the boots. I'm going to get all that stuff and I'm just going to fit it into my storage unit somehow. <laughs> Before I hand you guys over to Ryan for the Valentine's, there is going to be a bonus addition to the trend report on Wednesday. I'm not going to give it away yet what it is, but the Wednesday video of next week is going to be some bonus fall 2023 trend information. I'm going to hand it over to Ryan now to do his little intro and I will catch you guys in a second in the bins. 
just in the Nickelback of time. Hello, everybody. How are we? I hope my air conditioning isn't making you go deaf. I am on the way to the bin. What's the vibe for the day? Man, first of all, I'm getting there late. It's like one o'clock. Jack has been here since like 1130. 11.45-ish after he's done working out. I had so many errands to run today. It was just a busy Monday. We were on vacation pretty much all last week. And now that we're back, it's like, oh, we get to play catch up. That's so much fun. So I was calling, Will has a couple of appointments that he needed to get made. I had some stuff for school that I needed to get done. I'm so sorry if I'm like, uh, it's a little bit of a bumpy road. I had some stuff for school that I needed to get done. I had some stuff at the house that I needed to get done. I really, before the school year starts, my vibe is I don't wanna have anything, no loose ends. We do not need any loose ends. So I'm trying to like work on my death pile and like, you know, is it really worth it? Do I need any of this stuff? Is it just garbage that I've been <laughs> having sit in my house for the past six months? So, with that being said, and on that note of is this garbage or is this stuff that I've had sitting in my house for six months, I need stuff that's not garbage that I can put in my house for six months. As I predicted, my schedule for the first couple months of school is looking swamped, which is fine, you know, especially with elementary, like all the really fun things that happen in the beginning of the year, and I wanna be a part of it. I'm in a new school this year, so I really just wanna like dive in and go head first and not have to worry about any of the resale stuff. So my goal for the day has not changed since we've been coming to the bins for the past couple weeks, is I need quantity and I need quality. I need a lot of stuff and I need it to be like decent. I'm really not gonna be afraid of projects because I can save those projects for a later date and if I need to work on them a little bit later, I totally can. Or like, you know, if I need to pull five, 10 things to like wash or stain treat, or if I need to like put a button on something, I can do that. That is my goal, is quantity and quality. And I hope I am not gonna jinx myself like I did last time, I feel like, where I got like 10 things. So, off we go. My first find was this Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt dress. I normally would totally skip something like this, but because of the season, I thought I would look it up and see if it was from Hot Topic. I don't think it was, and it actually was pretty worn, so I did throw it back. This totally would have been great for Ryan, except it was a girl's piece instead of adult, but it was so Y2K, and it was vintage exhilaration and new with tags. What is with me finding all of these super nice theory coats suddenly at the bins? I'm not mad about it, but I don't know why everyone is skipping these. This was in a bin that many people had went through. Back in the day, maybe like two years ago, this would have been such a find. It's the old Wild Fox label. This is probably one of those older ones that was on like Doll's Kill and stuff. I'm still really excited to find it. These are so cute, but they suffer from the no brand curse. This was so interesting to me. It's some vintage polo with a Cartoon Network patch on it. I think it's for some race car driver. This brand used to be really good. I don't really know if it is anymore, but I guess in the bins I will still pick these up. Even though they're white, there were no spots or stains to them, so I thought it'd be worth it to give it a shot. Oh yeah, I'm in the money now. A totally authentic, wonderful condition Gucci hoodie. So this is some really bad fake Gucci hoodie. The Gucci label doesn't look that bad, but the 3X tag looks awful. And also it's totally slashed in the front for some reason. Plus the fabric tag looks terrible. I have actually had these Good Americans before and they didn't do that great, but last time I paid up for them and I will totally get them in the bins, totally worth it. And this is a great find. I'm actually gonna tease you guys and you'll have to wait until the haul to see what it is, but I'm so excited about it. I found an anthro candle. It's not in the best shape on the inside, but it has a lot of wax left, so I think I'm gonna get it. I just did a big rotation, grabbed quite a lot of things. A lot of it is actually for consigning, but I'm gonna sort through and then show you guys. And then I also found this vintage Halloween blanket and shocker, some other Halloween items. I know, you're surprised. 
So after sorting, these are my couple things I found for me to sell. This Maeve top was super cute and it's black, so it's actually pretty good for fall even though it's floral. This was a brand I picked up just because it was really cute. And upon looking it up, this is actually a piece from Anthro. I was quite surprised. The style looks very Anthro, but I just didn't expect this to actually be from Anthro. And then this is an Anthro dress that I will probably consign. It's a bit dated, it's cute, but I don't think I could sell it that well. I love this Lane Bryant blazer. Every once in a while when I find a newer piece that is very seasonally appropriate, I like to pick up Lane Bryant and this is one of those times. I think this blazer is so cute, and it's from 2019. Thoughts and prayers go out to this little Allbirds sweater. It is totally, totally shrunk. It started as a medium, now it's maybe a boy's medium, but I think it's supposed to be women, so that's not gonna work. All right, a shoe rotation happened and the shoes were bad, but everyone passed on this YSL travel garment protector. Um, why? Literally, why, SL? It's real YSL. Totally gonna get this. Duh. I don't... I... Huh? I actually found the matching hat for that polo that I found earlier. They don't seem to have much value, so I'm going to pass on them, but I do appreciate them. This is really cool. This is actually a Pottery Barn Kids piece. I think it's so cute. It's one of those hook stitch pillows. Totally going to pick this up to sell. So if I put this on, do you think that I can walk into Starbucks and get the pumpkin spice early? And right off the bat, my cart looks like a bomb has gone off. This is going to be a good day. I saw this Sundance tag sticking out of the bin and I grabbed it without actually really looking at what this item is. It's a really adorable sweater, but unfortunately it does just have a little bit too much pilling for me, so I did throw this back. I was so obsessed with this blouse, but unfortunately it had some stains. It's a Gianni beanie and it had this beautiful western design all throughout. It was so cute but this lipstick stain didn't look like it was ever gonna come out and I didn't really know if I was gonna be willing to sit on this. I ended up throwing this back and I'm kind of regretting it because I think I should have gotten it. I knew Jack had a sweater very similar to this one. It's by this boutique brand called Elam. It was $9 at Goodwill and I picked it up because I remembered his sold pretty well. I was seeing a lot of really good vintage this day, but unfortunately it was a lot of children's vintage and I really do my best to not pick up a ton of kids stuff unless it's like really crazy unique, but this Tommy Polo was super cute. One of my absolute favorite things in the whole wide world to find is older free people. It is so good on Depop for me. This top weighs nothing and I thought it was a really cute style, so I was very excited to pick this piece up. And here is a look at the current monstrosity. My cart always looks like a bomb went off. All right, we've got another rotation underway, and this is a miscellaneous and stuff rotation. Let's see if we can find anything. So far, the hard goods and miscellaneous has not really been that good today, unfortunately. Well, that hard goods rotation was not good, so I moved right on to some clothing, and this was not a new rotation, but look at all the stuff I grabbed. So first off, I grabbed this men's prana piece. It would need a lot of lint rolling, so I actually did decide to pass on that. This is a sweater that I'm going to consign. This is actually something freaking amazing, so I'm gonna hold on to that for a sec. This find was a Robert Graham. We have this older gentleman there who is so friendly and so nice, and he loves button-up, so I actually gave this to him, and he was overjoyed, which made me so happy. This was a really, really cute Abercrombie & Fitch flannel, oversized from the Soft a and collection. I think this will do really good for the season. These were actually some Pottery Barn curtains. Now let's move on to this. It looks just like some costume dress or something, honestly. Super pretty, but I wasn't sure it'd be something expensive. It has these really cute sheer sleeves to it. And to my surprise, this freaking dress is Marchesa Note, which is so expensive. I am so excited. This is one of my best finds recently by far. One of the prettiest Marchesa notes I've ever seen in person. I was hoping to pick up this vampire. He actually is from the early 2000s and goes for about 200, but his arms were totally messed up, totally broken, and he was even supposed to be holding a bowl, so he's not in great shape. 
Though I did find lunch, yum, a real pickle tasting gummy pickle. There actually is a new rotation that just happened that everyone else is at, but I'm over here in an old rotation finding some freaking treasures. First up was this cashmere garnet hill sweater. Right when I felt it, I was like, this is a cashmere piece. I always check the cashmere pieces, and I do like to sell garnet hill when it's more substantial, so I'm totally going to pick this up. I also found this really beautiful striped fall coat, and it is soft surroundings. It's really long and really substantial and so soft, so I'm absolutely getting that. This was a pair of Estelle and Finn pants. This is a really expensive brand. It's kind of lagging looky, so I was really happy to find those. Then I found this super adorable Halloween graphic sweater. It's not vintage, but I like to sell any of that stuff, so I'm definitely getting this. Tis the ooky spooky kooky season. I wasn't sure what this is. It's called Hue Acadia. They go for like $100 online and they only make these bandana hoodies. It stood out to me because it clearly looked kind of different and interesting, but I don't know. Sometimes I don't like to get the really, really obscure stuff, so I passed on this. Normally, I would not pick up an American Eagle label this old, but I've actually had this sweater at least twice, and every time I have it, it sells quite quick, and for at least $25. I want to check the year to see when this is actually from, but she actually had cut it out, but I'm still going to pick this up. This is a really cute Torrid, and I have not really been picking up Torrid much lately because it just hasn't been doing well for me, but if it's newer and it's cuter, I still will grab it. So this was actually, I believe, from 2022, so I am going to be picking it up. Once again, a black floral still works for fall, so I'm going to grab this. How freaking cute is this little knit blanket? It has dinosaurs all over it. This is so adorable and Baby Jack would have loved this. I'm totally grabbing this. This is so cute and I've never owned a turtleneck in my life, but I might need to try this on. It's a vintage Target piece with these old looking 90s jack-o'-lanterns all over it. Oh my gosh, my spooky heart. This would have been the absolute perfect pair of little sandaly mules to put on Depop. I loved the mock and mock looking embellishments on the toe straps and the heel was super fascinating, but unfortunately I only ever found one. So this jacket is by a brand called Cool, K-U-H-L. I don't do a very good job of showing the tag, but there is the little logo. I really like this jacket, but unfortunately it was really pilly and I didn't know if I deep held it, if I would put a hole in it. So I did unfortunately end up leaving this one behind. Who is Giada? Whose horse was this? I have so many questions, but I'm so happy that I now own this hat with a horse on it. I was obsessed with this blouse. This is perfect for Depop with this floral kind of like patchwork quilted looking design. These really slight bale sleeves. The brand is Fresh and Wear. I have pretty decent luck with this brand. It's older, I don't know where it's from, but it does really good on Depop for me. And it wouldn't be a binge trip if I didn't leave with something nostalgic from my classroom. I found this light bright. I cannot wait to use this. I think I'm gonna use it as like a bulletin board. Though this beautiful Baroque 80s dress is not a gunny sack, I still fell in love with it. It definitely, I think, was supposed to be a jacket originally, but the way that I am going to style it and list it is as a little mini dress. It's adorable. I love this lace detailing going down the front. The buttons are super detailed. This is going to be a hit. I was genuinely really shocked to find this J. Crew jacket sitting in the bottom of a bin that people had already gone through. This is perfect for the season. It's a size 4, which is thankfully not an itty bitty size. There's one little broken button on it, as you just saw, but I really don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. It's still a beautiful, beautiful piece, and it has all the original belts, which I was really excited about. I have been really loving vests recently. They've been moving really quickly and they've been doing really good on Depop, which is kind of my new love affair. This one is phenomenal. It's a completely suede embroidered vest, very Nordic, very like Norwegian inspired, beautiful piece. 
These orange cotton basketball shorts, I'm kind of shocked the vintage heads didn't pick up. This seems like something that'd be right up their alley. They're from Syracuse, and they're in this really phenomenal 80s, very vibrant orange, and the tag was very old. And I about fell over when I found this Paul Frank t-shirt. It's so cute. I'm trying to see the RN to see if it's an Urban Outfitters t-shirt. It is not. So I don't know where this is actually from, but I remember Paul Frank from when I was a kid, and I was super happy to find this t-shirt. Right at the end of my trip, I found a very wonderful little pocket of anthropology pieces. This one, I will show you. The rest of them, you have to wait for the haul. It's a Holding Horses, beautiful, like, rusty, kind of dusty pearl rose tunic with these pockets in it, which is so pretty. And it's perfect for fall. Well, another rotation happened, and once again, I found a lot of stuff to grab. So this is my first time finding Nadam in the wild, which is a really, really expensive brand. This was another cashmere piece. So of course, the feeling of it is what stood out to me, and sure enough, it was a expensive brand. This was just an airy little bralette, so I grabbed that because it was actually from a recent year. This coat, had been skipped by everyone, and oh, it's just this little brand called Christian Dior. It is Monsieur, which means it is older, and it was like the men's, I think, kind of cheaper line, but I'm not passing on it. It's perfect for the season. I just gotta clean it up a bit. I'm so excited to find that. I don't know why everyone skipped it. This coat, too, was freaking amazing, and everyone had been skipping it. It is Giorgio Armani. It looks like suede, but it actually is a fabric, and I'm so pumped to find that, too. It took me so long to figure out what this meant, and I feel like such a dummy. <laughs> like, it's zero to which in 4.5 seconds. I kept thinking, like, it's missing a letter, and it meant to say, go to which, and I thought it said, oh, to which. I don't know. I, woof. This Madewell is super cute and super fall. This is me explaining to Ryan what this meant because he also didn't get it right away either. I don't know what's wrong with both of us. <laughs> this Madewell was really cute, super good for fall. And then this was a vintage Talbots piece that is plus size and so, so cute. Good for like a country fall time. Ryan was swiveling on a swivel board and I said, don't do this on the hard ground or you might fall. Guess what happened? Just take a guess. What? I thought this maybe would be Billionaire Boys Club, but this is a knockoff Moschino, and it's a bad, bad one. $134 and a pumpkin on top. All done. <laughs> I honestly was expecting that this would be a lot more. To me, this seemed really, really heavy, but I guess I did get all the stuff for me to sell down to basically an Ikea bag, and it was really nice to get flat rates on this coat that I think I showed you, maybe? If not, it's really good. And then these curtains, they're Pottery Barn. I think I showed you these two. I think it was two bucks for the two curtains, two bucks for the coat, and then he actually gave me the candle for 50 cents that I found because it's kind of heavy, shockingly. All done. Ryan is kind of doing one last rotation and then he will be on his way. We're gonna go get lunch, even though it's like four o'clock. So I guess it's like dinner, dinner lunch. But some factory around here is like making cookies or cereal or something. And it smells like chocolate chip cookies. And it is making me so hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna pack my stuff up and I'm gonna like book it to the lunch place. I'm starving.